What's up and welcome to The Lab Online. My name's Andrew and I'm so excited that you're joining us today. This week is our second week of our Did You Know series. And for this whole month, we're learning some amazing stories about Jesus. And we have an awesome memory verse for the whole month as well. Let's read it together. But grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I'm so excited that we get to grow together and learn more about Jesus this month. There's just no one like him. Okay, just before we find out some stuff, did you know about Jesus? I have a fun fact about the British royal family for you today. Did you know the queen has two birthdays? That's crazy! One she celebrates with her whole family and the other she celebrates with the whole country. How cool is that? Today we're talking about a different royal, a king as a matter of fact. Let's check out our Grow TV today and learn more. God's Story, Palm Sunday. So part of God's story happened on a day we call Palm Sunday, and it begins like this. Remember how God sent his son Jesus to rescue us? Well, not everybody believed that Jesus was really God's son and the rescuer, but the ones who did believe in him did something pretty cool on Palm Sunday. It started just like any other day for Jesus. He was heading into Jerusalem with his disciples. But before they got there, Jesus did something surprising. He stopped and sent two of his disciples to go get a young donkey from a nearby village. He even told them exactly where the owner had last tied it up. They weren't sure why he needed the donkey, but they obeyed him. Kids, would you be willing to obey Jesus even if he asked you to do something you didn't understand? Anyway, when the disciples got back with the donkey, they threw their coats on its back like a saddle and Jesus climbed up. Pretty soon, the disciples saw why Jesus needed it. See, crowds of people came to the road and started laying coats and tree branches to make a path for Jesus. When this happened, many people recognized that Jesus was a king. Only kings came into a city like this. So Jesus rode the donkey, like he was a one-man parade. And the crowds praised Jesus by yelling things like, Blessed is the king who comes in the name of the Lord, and peace in heaven and glory in the highest, because they believed Jesus was the rescuer. But remember how some people didn't believe Jesus was God's son? Well, they told Jesus to make everybody stop yelling. They didn't think Jesus deserved to be treated like a king. You know what Jesus said? He told them, if they keep quiet, the rocks will cry out. Well, the people who didn't believe in Jesus didn't like thinking about people or rocks praising him. And that made Jesus sad. He actually started crying. And not just crying, weeping. Here, the people were standing next to the rescuer they'd been wanting and waiting for their whole lives, and they were missing it. But even though Jesus cried, Palm Sunday isn't a sad story. Easter is all about Jesus' amazing rescue, and Palm Sunday is a reminder of just how special that rescue is, and how much Jesus loves everyone. And that's the story of Palm Sunday. So in case you missed it, here's the quick version. Jesus was traveling. He sent his disciples to get a donkey. People spread coats and branches on the road. They praised Jesus. Some people didn't recognize that he was the king. That made Jesus sad. He had come to rescue them. A few days later, he would show just how much he loves us. And that's a part of God's story. Whoa! Did you hear who the king we're talking about today is? Jesus! Jesus is who we serve and want to follow because he's the king of everything. Like, seriously? Everything. Your favorite animal, king of that. Your favorite vacation spot, yep, king of that. All the stars in the sky, you guessed it. He's the king over those two. He isn't just a big deal, he's the whole deal. Everything you see, hear, know about literally everything is under his control. But Jesus isn't like any other king the world has ever known. Other kings use their power to get what they want or to build palaces, but not our king. King Jesus chose to come to earth as a baby. And when he rode into town and people were recognizing him as king, he wasn't riding in on a chariot or wearing a huge golden crown. He rode a small donkey and he came to earth to show us how much he loved us. He came to serve us. Now, that's just crazy. The king over everything came to earth, gave up the right to do whatever he wanted to do to show us how much he loves us. That is the king that I want to follow with my whole life. So let's pray together. Jesus, I'm grateful that you're the king of everything. 
There's no one like you. Thank you that you came to earth, not just to show us how powerful you are, but how much you love us. Please help us to follow you. We love you so much, God. Thank you for being my king. Amen. Well, thank you all for joining us this week. We'll see you next time back here at The Lab Online. Bye!